All right, so we're Steve and Justin back again. We've started working on the boat, as you can see. Today we've added this aluminum frame. It's one inch by one inch by one sixteenth wall tubing. Um, we've riveted it to the original cross beams. In some instances, we brazed it together. So that was a rather new technique neither one of us have done. We're basically just putting the skeleton together and trying to figure out what we're going to do next. So there's going to be some storage compartment up here, another storage compartment with foam on the side, spot for a cooler. This is going to be a foot well, so someone can sit here on top of the cooler, raise up this hatch whenever you're running, and sit here and have somewhere to put your feet. Um, in the back, we're going to do a back deck as well. Over here where the drill and the uh, grinder is, that's going to be another foot well for the driver. Here's going to be some storage compartment. This is likely going to be foam, um, reserve flotation, and we haven't figured out what we're going to do here yet. But all in all, it's coming together. Um, Strong and light, which our goal we can't put a lot, whole lot of weight in this boat but uh, using aluminum for all the building materials is definitely going to pay off it's going to give us the, the fishing platform we need without uh, putting us in serious danger so along here we got this idea off of uh, tiny boat nation but basically you have a 1 16th aluminum it's one half inch by one half inch, and you can cut it using uh, a good pair of tin snips, using a uh, grinder, and then you can bend it to the contour, and then you can attach here your platform and give you a little bit additional support, and then rivet it to the boat. One thing that we've talked about uh, determining if it's possible to do, but see where you put uh, pop rivets or blind rivets here. Um, we were wondering if you could braze these rivets and make them watertight. So this is probably going to sit below the water line. So we're going to experiment with with that idea. So getting this uh, the main skeleton in is oh, you know pretty easy. Uh, a lot of the tedious work and the the precision work is going to come around when we put the compartments in and the doors and, and all the little features we want to make it a great fishing boat. But um, we're looking forward to taking our time with that. And, and I mean, we've spent uh, a lot of money already for the aluminum, so we have it. We just want to make it work as best as possible for us. All right, thanks for watching.